A LaGrange Park woman has an active unemployment claim, and so does her father, who died more than a year ago. The woman reached out to us about that troubling fraud. Tonight, Tara Molina says the woman is worried that this could affect her father's estate. He was a veteran. Angela Rose talking about her dad. He had some some Vietnam War era related ailments that uh, later in life caused him to come down with this very rare form of blood cancer. He lost his battle to that cancer almost a year ago, but a death certificate on file with the state didn't stop a fraudster from filing for state unemployment benefits in his name. It's very surprising and, and just shocking. Certificate in hand. That could have very easily been flagged as fraudulent. Uh, just by making some phone calls. Angela wants to know how this could possibly happen. This is a state agency. It sounds to me like these agencies are not communicating with each other, and that is extremely concerning. The fact she can't get a hold of IDES only making matters worse. Laid off from her job in sales, Angela says she has a legitimate unemployment claim of her own, so she worries this will somehow affect her or the taxes on her father's estate. This is very, very distressing. We know IDES is dealing with more than 341,000 fraud cases right now, and they're in the process of adding 100 workers just to address the issue. Even still, how did a claim like this make it through their system with so much of Angela's father's information on record? Are they even checking those records? A spokesperson couldn't talk about this case specifically, but told me claims filed fraudulently in the names of people who've died are cross-matched with death records and will be stopped before benefits are dispersed. Going on to say they work closely with other state agencies. Currently, I'm dealing with the estate. Something Angela is questioning tonight. This is a, a structural problem within these agencies. That spokesperson for IDES did tell me victims of identity theft aren't held liable for any tax liability stemming from that theft. But tonight, Angela is still waiting for IDES to address her claim. For CBS2 Working for Chicago, I'm Tara Molina. Thank you, Tara.